Alright guys, welcome to your 51st biology tutorial, and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about cytokinesis. Now cytokinesis is the actual process of your cell splitting in two and forming two brand new individual daughter cells. Now this is actually the last part of cell division, and the technical process of how this occurs is a little bit different in animal cells than plant cells. So what I want to do is I want to take you guys through each process and let's go ahead and get started by looking at animal cells. So basically in animal cells what's going to happen is remember at the end of mitosis we have it's pretty much one adjoining cell but it has two nuclei thanks to mitosis. Now the portion of the cell where this is going to split is called the cleavage furrow. The cleavage furrow, remember, is the little indentation in the cell where it's going to split in half. So basically what's going to happen is, let me pick a good color to work with here. Eh, this red looks pretty good. What's going to happen here is proteins are going to come in and they're pretty much going to act like a belt around the cell. What's going to happen is they're going to squeeze the cell and eventually split it in two. So this is what we start with right here, and let me draw a little arrow to indicate future. What we end up with is two individual daughter cells. So this, you know, process of how cytokinesis occurs in animals is pretty self-explanatory. The important things we need to take away is that the cleavage furrow is the area where you know the indentation is going to form thanks to the proteins and what the proteins are going to do is they're going to act like a belt around the cell squeezing it and splitting it into two brand new individual daughter cells so pretty simple and whenever we think of cytokinesis this is pretty much what we picture in our head so remember that I said that this is the process of how cytokinesis occurs in animal cells. However, plant cells are a little bit different. So let's go ahead and look at plant cells right now. And basically, whenever we have a plant cell that's ready to un undergo cytokinesis, we of course have the original cell with two nuclei. But the thing is, we can't have proteins that squeeze together the cell like an animal cell because of the cell wall. So here's the cell wall right here. And we already know that in plant cells the cell wall is actually very uh, structured and rigid. So if the proteins were to come in and try to squeeze it together it couldn't because it's so rigid. So what needs to happen instead is actually, let me draw a little arrow again. So I know it's a different, you know, time has passed what's gonna happen and I guess I gotta draw my two little nuclei of course is that tiny vesicles are gonna come in and I'll draw the vesicles in this reddish color right here I might as well put a V in them so you guys know what's going on tiny vesicles are gonna come in and they're gonna carry cell wall material so this is the material that is gonna make up the cell wall right here I'll label it cell wall So they're pretty much like tiny builders carrying cell wall material and what they're going to do is they're going to drop it off in the middle of the cell where the new cell wall is going to be. So eventually what's going to happen is this new cell wall material is going to fuse together and eventually creates the new cell wall. So at the end of cytokinesis in plant cells we end up with the new cell wall with two brand new daughter cells. So again, as you can see, the process of plant cells and animal cells and cytokinesis is a little bit different, mostly because instead of proteins that squeeze the original cell together, we now have vesicles that are going to come in and dump new cell wall material, splitting the original cell into two daughter cells. And the reason is that we need the vesicles to dump the new cell wall material into the new cell is because the cell wall right here is so rigid we just can't squeeze it together like animal cells. So that is the process of cytokinesis in animal cells and plant cells a little bit different but the key thing that we want to take away from this is that after we have two new daughter cells in either you know animals or plants what's going to happen is that these daughter cells automatically once they're formed they're going to enter the G1 phase of interphase. Now remember that was the very first phase of the cell cycle so basically these cells are going to start 
oh, excuse me, I just swallowed like a french fry or something, pretty much these cells are going to start and enter the cell cycle all over again. So, so then we take these new cells and do it all over again. So I know, you know, we just completed a full circle, but we aren't done with the cell cycle yet because we talked about mitosis, and that's only one of the ways that cells can divide. But we need to talk about meiosis now, and that is the cell division involving sperm and egg cells in animals. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for understanding cytokinesis, and I'll see you guys in the next video.